Hello everyone. So let's start uh, phenols. After studying alcohol and ethers, uh, you won't have trouble in studying phenols. Phenol basically is our compounds which have a hydroxy group attached directly to an aromatic ring. Now that aromatic ring can be benzene. It can be substituted benzene. For instance, it can have a methyl group at any position. It can have any other alkyl group at any position. That aromatic ring need not necessarily be benzene. It can be benzene derivatives as well. It can be naphthalene. If you have a OH group on naphthalene, that is also phenol. So phenols are compounds having hydroxy group on aromatic rings. That aromatic ring can be benzene, that aromatic ring can be substituted benzene, that aromatic ring can be benzene derivatives. Now there are some important phenols that we should know. Now generally, when we say phenol, we generally mean this compound. Otherwise, by definition, Phenols are all compounds having hydroxy group on aromatic ring. But generally, by phenol, we generally mean this compound. This is also called as carbolic acid. This is also called as phenic acid. Other important phenols are This is called Cresol. Now this methyl is at para position. So in particular, this is para -cresol. You can have meta -cresol and ortho -cresol as well. Depending upon the position of this methyl group with respect to this hydroxy group. If methyl group is at ortho position, this will be called as orthocrisol. If it is at meta position, it will be called as metacrisol. So this is a very common important phenol. We should know what crisol is. If we have one, two hydroxy benzene, then the name of the phenol is catechol. If that hydroxy group has, is at meta position, then we call it as resource phenol. If that hydroxy group, if it's 1,4-hydroxy benzene, then the name of this phenol is Hydroquinone and this one you must be knowing it's very common important this is Sally salic acid fine This is naphthalene. If we have hydroxy group at this position, this is called 1-naphthanol. If that hydroxy group is at beta position, this is called as two naphthol. 1-naphthol, 2-naphthol. So these are common, very common and very important phenols. So we should know these phenols because these phenols would be coming somewhere in the course later in other chapters as well. Somebody can ask you to prepare chrysol. Somebody can ask you to prefer, prepare catechol. So we must know what chrysol is. We must know what catechol is. 
we must gen know generally these are bare minimum we have to know these phenols now very quickly let's start with the method of preparation of phenols now generally uh, by definition we understand that these all are phenols but generally we when we say phenol we mean this compound so this carbolic acid in particular we are going to study how to prepare this carbolic acid or the the term phenol will generally refer to this carbolic carbo carbolic acid so let's start method number 1 is called dose process in dose process we take chlorobenzene and um, suppose i add base to this chlorobenzene then we understand base in, from from the chapter of hydrocarbon we know that nucleophilic substitution do not occur on this benzene like this because this benzene has pi electron cloud density above and below the plane of the ring and this base has negative charge so that negative charge will not approach this benzene ring plus there cannot be a sn2 substitution because the anti bonding of this carbon is inside the ring so no nucleophile can approach that anti bonding to put its electron so sn2 mechanism is not possible SN1 is not possible because the cation that will be generated will be on sp hybridized carbon so that too is not possible so generally the substitution of this chlorobenzene is not possible but if we make the condition of the reaction very rigorous if we increase the temperature to around 400 degrees celsius if we increase the temperature to around 300 atmospheric pressure then under these extreme conditions the substitution does occur and we have a phenoxide ion like this what has happened here is the carbon to which this chlorine is attached that is attacked by this hydroxide ion because of certain plus charge polarity because of electronegativity difference between carbon and chlorine when this base attacks this carbon one of the pi bond have to shift to other carbon to create a pure plus charge on this carbon so this carbon which is attached to chlorine forms a bond with this hydroxide ion and the pi bond breaks like this fine now the aromaticity has been destroyed aromaticity has to be regenerated if the reactant is aromatic product necessarily have to be aromatic now if aromaticity can be regenerated by the regeneration of pi bond pi bond can be regenerated if the cl minus comes out cl minus comes out and then the carbon gains plus charge plus minus bond formation like this system is basic so hydrogen is not going to remain here other bases are going to come and snatch this hydrogen so actually phenoxide ion is what we are going to have fine so those process is nothing but it's just fusion of sodium hydroxide with this chlorobenzene and that will result in phenoxide ion sodium phenoxide and later when we protonate this sodium phenoxide then we'll get phenol like this this is a simple this is a industrial method of preparation in industries when phenol is required in large scale we use this process because chlorobenzene is a common organic compound we can get it very easily so because of abundance of chlorobenzene the abundance of chlorobenzene actually is the importance of this reaction because we start with chlorobenzene this reaction is called dose process very similar to dose process would be if we stay if we if we take benzene sulfonic acid and if we do the same reaction with naoh then the condition don't have to be as extreme as it is in case of chlorobenzene because in this case this sulfonic acid group is a very good leaving group much 
it, it's it's a much better living group than that of than than chlorine in this case the same thing will happen first of all acid base reaction will occur it's a good acid h plus can't remain there as it is in presence of base So first of all, this benzene sulfonic acid is going to become benzene sulfon sulf sulf sulfonate. And then, now the base will attack and the whole step, the same step will occur as happened in case of chlorobenzene. Base is going to come and attack the carbon which is attached with sulfur. Now in the next steps, the sulfonate ion have to leave in order to generate aromaticity in the ring. Because it's a living, good living group, so this time the condition don't have to be as rigorous as it was in the last case. And the final product will be the same. You'll have sulfoxide ion and uh, you'll have phenoxide ion, sorry. And after protonation, that will also result in phenol. So this is simple substitution of a group by NaOH. Now, this is not an easy kind of substitution that we understand because that in the chapter of hydrocarbon we studied that the substitution generally doesn't happen but we can see that the condition of the reaction is very extreme 300 atmospheric pressure is not a normal pressure it's very high pressure and the temperature is high as well so under this extreme condition these reactions are occurring otherwise because of high electron cloud density base generally did not approach the benzene the phenyl ring so this is the first kind of reaction that will give us phenol.